So the Black Friday rush is just three days away. It'll be followed by a full month of Christmas shopping insanity. And there's one thing you are certain to see in shopping center parking lots all across Northeast Ohio, and that's dogs left alone in vehicles unattended. It may not be a good idea, but are those pet owners breaking the law? Fox 8 legal analyst Tom Merriman joins us once again with the latest edition of Is It Legal? So Tom, leaving a dog or a cat alone inside the vehicle sounds like a bad idea. Yeah, pretty uh, not wise decision, but you know, the, if all bad ideas were criminal, I think we'd all be in the big house. So <laughs> the good news here in this case, there is a very bright line between bad judgment and criminal conduct. Seamus and Pickles love going for walks. What they love even more is going for a ride. Pickles usually calls shotgun. They both enjoy watching the world go by and breathing in the fresh autumn air. You know, I drive my dog just about anywhere. The problem is not every destination is dog friendly. So here's the question. Is it legal to leave your pets in a vehicle unattended? <laughs> Elon Musk seems to think it's okay. Of course, Elon has some unique ideas about a lot of things. Teslas are equipped with dog mode, keeping the vehicle's interior at a safe temperature for your loyal yet sometimes lonely companion. And that's the key. It's not illegal to leave your pet inside a vehicle unattended, unless it's dangerously hot or freezing cold. In that case, you could be charged with animal cruelty. My dog is locked in my car, and I, I don't have a spare key. So he can open up. He's been in there quite a while. What's quite a while? Since last night. In the summer of 2021, this Parma woman left her husky locked in a car overnight. I can't imagine. If it's been in there all night, it's, it's in the floorboard on this side. It's behind the driver's seat. You said I want to arrest. No, I wasn't my fault. The husky was dead. Get out of here. Kill you. My car was running the whole time. And then I took him out and then put him back in with the car running like I do, and the car died. What time, did you, what time was that at? About noon. She ultimately pled guilty to one count of companion animal cruelty. Stories like these may boil your blood or break your heart. So know this. If you come across a dog or cat locked inside a dangerously hot or freezing vehicle, you have the power to do this. Come on, sweetie, come on, come on. If you have a good faith reason to believe that forcible entry is necessary to save an animal from imminent danger, Ohio law gives you civil immunity for any damage you may cause. Good girl, good girl. And one more thing, hot, cold, or just right, leaving your dog or cat in a vehicle unattended is generally a bad idea. You never know what a desperate animal or a well-intentioned stranger might do. Now, before you all run out and start smashing people's windows with a life hammer, I wanna be clear. You have to have a good faith belief that forcible entry is necessary because the animal is in imminent danger of suffering harm. You also have to have a good faith, make a good faith effort to first contact police, fire 911, and you have to confirm the vehicle is indeed locked and the animal has no reasonable means of escape. And once you do the deed, you're required to leave your contact information on the, on the windshield and stay with the animal in a safe place until the police arrive. So please don't run out and start yeah. smashing yeah. windows. It was Maglio's car, so I- It was Blue's uh, car again. Yeah. <laughs> so we, we cleared up the uh, air when it comes to dogs and cats in the car. What about children? That's a great question. You know, and I'm, I'm really happy to say Ohio has, the answer is yes. You could do the same thing if you saw a child in a car that was in danger. Ohio has a law that's virtually identical to the pet law for children to protect children as well. And it's Ill, is it illegal to leave children in the car alone? Yes. Okay. I mean, yeah, yeah. Depending on the age, but mm -hmm. definitely in cold and extreme temperatures. Sure. But even in any condition, if they're very small children, yes. Okay. Did Let's you have fun busting out uh, Lou's window there? Did you have fun? Yeah, it was great fun. Actually, I, I have to shout out my friend Kumar. Kumar Auto Body uh, Body Works in Bedford. Let me smash the crap out of one of his windows. <laughs> And I also have to tell people that was a demonstration. Little Pickles was never in danger and never traumatized. And 
Uh, Seamus is a little upset that he didn't get as much face time. But <laughs> I love your all in all, everybody's good. Oh, that's great. Uh, you made it look so easy, too, was, to smash uh, that glass. I experience. <laughs> Learned a lot tonight, Tom, as we always do whenever you yeah, visit. Good love stuff. Your stuff. Thank you.